Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a general pick a pile reading their shadow sex energy. So all these cards have been pulled from the bottom of the deck. So readings are timeless and timestamps are in the pinned comments and decks are in the description box. There's also a link to my link tree so you can find me all over the internet. And there's also links to Etsy for this exact reading. I wanted to say thank you to the new subscribers and those of you who are purchasing Etsy readings. It's been awesome to watch you and your relationships grow. On my channel, if the camera zooms in on a card, we pull a clarifier with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Also, we have the What is in the Box box that will help you with your intuition. So intuition is super important on my channel. If there's something that I say and it doesn't seem like it fits with you, it could be because you're sharing a reading with other people and that's their information. If you want specific information, you can purchase a reading on Etsy and it will be customizable to you and your situation. So today we have the red heart, the clear gem, and the laughy cry emoji. Laughing till you cry emoji. So. Okay, so we will get started with the red heart. We have their sex secret number one, number two, are they hiding something and the romantic energy that they have currently? So the first card that's showing up for this connection is the reverse hero fin. So the reverse hero fin is about not wanting something that's typical sexually. They don't want to really go along with what society has for them. This could be anywhere from like they don't want to get married to they don't want to get married in a church or they want to have a hand fasting. Like there's something that this person wants that is outside of the norm. So it could also be that they want a polyamorous relationship, especially because if we look at the uh, picture on the card, it's got one guy and two girls. They could want something that was, you know, different along those lines, either polyamory or they want to maybe be a swinger. This is somebody who just isn't going to want their shadow self. They do not want a stereotypical relationship. So then the next sex secret is the reverse six of cups. Now the reverse six of cups is about some unrealistic expectations. So it could very well be that you know, this person has this idealistic view of what a relationship looks like, and that's what they're going for. That's what they're shooting for. I sense that they saw it working with friends or it's something that they thought, oh, I really want to try that. I want multiple sex partners. I can never, you know, just be with one person. So their sex secret is that they, um, they don't really have a clear view of what a good relationship is like. Majority of the people haven't had one, so they don't really have anything to base that on. So that those are their sex secrets. And then are they hiding something? Maybe. It says plan, go deep within. This is bigger than you are hoping it will be. Search your soul. What do you really want? So a lot of times when a maybe card comes out, it's because the answer doesn't exist yet. You haven't created the energy enough for an answer to be there. So now this re reverse six of cups, the clarity card on that is showing up as the six of wands. And the six of wands is about good news. It's about, you know, getting over the thing that you had going on. So they're not going to change the ideologies that they have about relationships. They're not going to change their views, whatever they may be, on marriage and cohabitating and having multiple partners. When you get them, that is their view and that won't change. But what does have a little bit of flexibility is their things that are unrealistic. So let's say they want to have a multiple partner relationship. They want to have two partners, but they don't want those two partners to ever talk to each other or vice versa. Maybe they want those partners to be sexual partners too. So they have their overall thing that they want. And then there's some pieces of what they want that are inaccurate. And with time, they will be victorious in those blocks that they have. Some of those blocks are ego blocks and they will heal through those. So you have to make a choice because 
through the interaction is how they heal. So it's one of those things where you're just going to have to jump in and go through the experience because they won't be able to do that experience without a partner. So if you don't just say, okay, they're not exactly who I want right now, but I'm going to accept them unconditionally and go through this situation until we can get where we're both comfortable, that will benefit you greatly. So then their romantic energy is vulnerability. It says, opening up and being vulnerable can be scary. Love is more exciting when you're vulnerable. So that's just what I was really talking about is the idea that it's really a vulnerable feeling to just kind of jump in. So they're feeling really vulner vulnerable. I sense that you guys have been kind of talking about what you each want and really opening up to each other. And they're kind of telling you about this situation and they've told other people before and have been uh, rejected for their belief system. And so they're really vulnerable with what they're sharing with you. So just be cognizant of the... Uh, idea that this person is sharing their core belief system with you. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you would like a specific reading for yourself and your connection, there is a link to Etsy down below. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And don't forget to go to the end of the video for what is in the box. So now we're going to go with the people who chose the clear gem. We have two sex secrets. Then we have, are they hiding something? And then we have their romantic energy. So let's get started. The sex secret number one is showing up as the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is about some solo pleasures. Also, they could have a thing for like hair or cutting your hair could be something where they want to be the really dominant partner. So it might be something that's a little bit surprising because this is their shadow self. So the person who you kind of see every day, I feel like you work, there's a work person or school, like there's some interactions where there's definitely a set standard of interactions that the two of you have. And this person looks at you and they want to do really kinky things. And also they may have a tendency to like solo pleasures. They're spending a lot of time pleasuring themselves by themselves. So that could also be something that they really wouldn't talk about. So then the next thing that's showing up is the fool card. So the fool is about taking chances and being at the beginning of something. So for some of you, they're going to talk about things sexually that they've never talked about any to anyone before. They've never shared the things that they want. They've never shared this vulnerable side of themselves. So you're really going to get to see a deep side of them. And you're going to want to uh, be gentle. Like, give them the chance to express themselves. Because they're going to be telling you things that they've never done before, but they've like fantasized about. So then, are they hiding something? Maybe. Remember, review your progress. Is this really what you want? So usually when there is a maybe card, it means that whatever question you were asking, the answer has not been created yet. So we, our belief systems, they change the vibration of things in our lives and they move things around. Because you've seen this person be so laid back and kind of just not super sexual, you may have an idea that they're too tame. Or there are some of you who are like, oh, well, this person's so intense that they probably have some crazy things they're hiding, you know, so you're going back and forth so much with the answers that you're not landing on anything that's creating the forward motion of an answer. So then their romantic energy is showing up as dreams and it says, share your dreams with your partner so you can build them together. And that really goes back to like the fool and the, you know, what was kind of going with the whole reading is you're really going to build with this person and you're going to find things out about yourself. You guys are going to go on a journey together. So that's really important for this connection is to 
dream. That's, you know, kind of what The Fool is about, is being that hopeless romantic that moves forward and gets what they want. I needed a drink. Sorry. So this person is really going to help you grow a lot. They're not as scary as you feel. I think some of you are a little intimidated by the unknown of them, but they will reveal that um, as you go along. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you have specific questions about your connection, you can head on over to Etsy for that uh, reading. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And then don't forget to go to the end of the video to find out what is in the box. All right. So this is for group three that chose the laughing, crying emoji. So we have sex secret number one is showing up as the stars. So the stars are about clarity. They're about hope. They're about knowing what you want. Let's pull a clarifier card since it's zooming in there. So then the second sex secret that they have is the reverse 10 of swords. Now the reverse 10 of swords is about forgiveness and recovery. So then the clarity on that is showing up as the reverse knight of wands. So the knight of, reverse knight of wands is impulsive and chaotic. So I sense that the person watching the video is the person who was the uh, knight, reverse knight of wands. So this person has um, some clarity about your connection. This person has forgiven because when you approach this person, you were really like, oh my gosh, I just think you're so sexy and I really want to be with you. Like you gave off a lot of that energy, even if you weren't saying those words. And so now this person has forgiven that situation. They want to go forward. They want to try um, to experience things with you because they have seen that you were kind of not paying attention to the whole picture and you were just kind of going in full force and not really giving this person a chance to get to know your energy. So it kind of threw them off balance a little bit. But as we know with the major arcana cards, that is really what is being led by the divine. It is divinely inspired. It is divine timing. So this was really supposed to happen the way it did so that the two of you could move forward. So then are they hiding something is no, don't. This path is not the path for you. Don't settle in life. You are worthy of great things. So don't think about that. Don't put the energy into, are they hiding something? Because they're not. And this person, uh, they are being so open and honest and clear with you that it is everything that they are saying to you is exactly how they feel. It is exactly uh, what they want. They are being their true, authentic self with you. All right. And so then the next one is the romantic energy, which is relaxing. Relaxing with your partner is a perfect way to connect. So you and this person had a little bit of um, turmoil when you first started connecting. You misunderstood each other a lot. You've really been working on that. Both of you have, and it's really starting to pay off for you. You're really starting to see a connection with this person. You both feel really comfortable. You're doing an excellent job giving this person the opportunity to learn who you are. At the same time, giving the opportunity for them to be themselves. All right. So thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you need a reading for your specific connection, you can find the link to Etsy down below. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And now it is time for what is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And what is in the box is the little green truck. All right. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I look forward to reading for you again.